Hey everyone, it's Greg Mazza, Home Care Breakthrough Solutions. So today I am going to share something with you about your own self-fulfilling prophecy, right? You want to create a $5 million business, a $10 million business, right? You want to have more work-life balance. What is it that you desire? What is the life that you're wanting to create? And if you're not there yet, there's a reason. And it really comes down to some of your own self-limiting beliefs. But we're gonna talk about today, how do you fix that, right? What are the things that are holding you back? It's your story. What are you telling yourself? We all have stories that we tell ourselves, right? So for example, like I used to tell myself that this guy Bob in my market, right? He had the, the primary market share. Well, the truth of the matter is, is that when I would tell myself that, I'd go into an account, I'd see Bob walking out and I'd feel defeated. I'd feel like, oh my gosh, you know, they like Bob, Bob's friendly, he's laughing, they're having fun with him. And the truth of the matter is, is that it turned out, I found this out years later, cause I found, I, I, I made friends with the new owners and they said, yeah, they were telling me the size of the business that they had purchased and I knew it was Bob's business. And they were about a third of the size of my business. And why do I share that? I share that because this whole time I'm defeating myself, talking when I go to accounts, when I go to networking events, thinking that Bob had it all figured out, when in reality, Bob didn't have it figured out. It was a story that I was telling myself and I was limiting myself. Imagine going into an account and being like, oh, I'm not gonna get this. It's a subtle story, but I'm telling you it was real. Like this is real, I really believed it. I'm like, ah, oh, man. So I felt self-defeated. Flip side of that is that people used to tell me Summers were slow in Florida, right? You're not gonna get a lot of business. And I was like, no, 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 I'm not gonna allow that into my world, I'm not gonna allow it. And I didn't, and I didn't. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna make this happen. And in the summer times, so I had my business about 10 years, about four of the years, and we're talking about all the different seasons, about four of the years, the summers were my best revenue months because I wouldn't allow myself to buy into that story. You see, our stories, it tells us what we believe. It tells us our thought processes, right? I'm, I need to be perfect or I'm too young, which I did tell myself when I started the business because I was, and I was 30, right? I'm too young to do this or I don't have healthcare experience so people aren't gonna take me seriously, right? Or I'm too old or I'm not smart enough or I'm not good at stuff. We all have them. We all tell ourselves these BS stories that create our life. It becomes our own self-fulfilling prophecy. So I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how do you fix this, right? What can we do so we can shift the story and we can actually shift our identity in the process because the story makes up our own identity, right? whatever we're telling ourselves. And these are false beliefs, right? Because we can, can create the life that we want. So number one, examine your habits. What are you doing? What are you saying? What are the words that you're using to describe your world? You have to actually start observing yourself as this third party. It's like, I'm here. But I'm also this third, third party that's observing all the things that I'm saying and I'm doing, all right? Then when I'm looking at my habits, like me walking out because Bob was walking out and excited, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm not gonna get this account. So I'm like, I start shifting my energy because I thought Bob was gonna win, win the account or he already had it on lockdown, but he didn't, all right? So I start looking at my habits and the thoughts around it. What are the stories that I'm actually telling myself and it's limiting me, that's holding me back. If I haven't reached something, start paying attention. What's the story that I'm saying? What's the story that I'm telling myself about this particular situation? And then we're gonna get into how do we flip this, right? How do we actually flip this? Because it starts with number one, um, and this is from work from Byron Katie. I've talked about her before. She's got some amazing work. I think it's actually called The Work. But when I look at and then examine a story, the first thing we ask is, is this true? All right, now some of you might say, yeah, it is true, I am young. Okay, fine, and that's what's holding, there's gotta be more, and that's what's holding me back. Is this true? Yeah, I think it's true. Can you, number two, can you be 100% sure that this is true? Can you be absolutely positive? Well, um, no, I can't. I can't be absolutely positive. I think it's true, but I'm not sure. Can you be absolutely positive? And the answer is no. Then we move on to the next thing, which is where would you be without this story? Right? So if we just said for a moment, without judgment, where would we be without this story? Right? Would I be more confident? Would I be more motivated? Would I be more willing to do the work? The answer is yes with all of those things. 
okay? So where would I be without this story? And then the fourth part is like, how do I flip it? How can I create, right? Because we get to create our own stories, right? So why not create stories that are empowering us versus stories that are actually limiting us, okay? So how do we flip it? What's a more empowering story that we can tell ourselves? Like, so for me, it's like, okay, Bob is friendly and fun and so am I and I'm smart and I've got a great wellness program and I've got a great business and they're gonna wanna talk to me, right? Can I tell myself a different story? Something that's even believable, right? Can I tell myself a different story? And if I can, right, why not create that, rewire what our thoughts are about ourselves and our life so we can create the life that we want, right? Hope this helps you guys. This is a lot of stuff, we cover some of this stuff, but th these are some of the little things that we do with uh, our clients and our mastermind programs is it's like we, we teach them how do we get rid of those limiting beliefs and there's a whole bunch of other stuff that we do so if you guys are interested we've got a free guide that will help you um, it's called scaling your home care business it talks about like all the foundational principles and strategies for growing and scaling a home care business much more quickly um, so if you want to download the guide just click the link below there'll be a link or some sort of way for you guys to get access to it so that's all I've got. Hope this helps you. But remember, pay attention to your stories and anything that is holding you back, get rid of it, rewire it, and let's create a more empowering story. Have an amazing day. Bye.